الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. We want to share with you a benefit which I want the Sheikh to comment on to benefit from his eloquence in English and I'm not in English language. However, I want to point out at a language uh, or at a benefit that I think is very beneficial and that shows how through reading the translation of the Quran you don't get as much benefit than when you read it uh, in Arabic. The ayah is language by default uh, we say al mudakkar yaghlib ala al muannath meaning that if you ask about something that you don't know what it is and you you say ma thalika what is that ma thalika uh, however here allah he said wa ma tilka he went straight away to the feminine to the feminine and this shows that he knows already what he was asking about because he was asking about al asa al asa is stick is feminine the, in the Arabic language. So what would you say, Sheikh? And how can, from this small ayah, how many benefits can you extract and how important or how how does it show and, and you know the, the importance of the Arabic language and how much you lose through the translation? Understood. Well, first and foremost is, Allah tells us, mm. The believers are successful. Mm. Those who have khushu in their prayer. One of the most commonly and frequently asked questions that I get is, how do I obtain khushu in my prayer? I have wiswas or I doubt or kether. And I always tell them, there's several ways, there are different ways. One of the quickest and one of the most important ways of obtaining khushu in your prayer is knowing what you're saying, knowing what you're reciting, knowing and being familiar with what the imam is reciting. So you may know the English translation of Jazama, mm. but if the imam recites from Surah Fusilat or Zuhruf, Mm. Or Ahqaf or Jafia, then you're like, oh, uh, I'm not familiar, so you don't know what he's saying. So, so you automatically, for someone who doesn't know Arabic, who, who can't read certain books, you already lost a, a big percentage of, of possibly or obtainable khushua. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the Arabic language, no doubt, is, a, is an ingredient and a reason and a means behind obtaining greater khushua. And behind advancing one's khushur. And of course, if you have khushur, then the law calls you a winner. Mm. And the law calls you successful. Mm. So Arabic, with regards to the Quran, is it goes hand in hand, inseparable, period. Mm. The more Arabic you know, the more access to thorough and proper tafsir you have, the more access to thorough and proper tafsir, the better reflection you can make on the Quran, the better understanding of the Quran. And of course, you know what's being recited, and your khushur will be there and stronger, and you be the natal will be from the Muflihin those who are successful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he asks Musa alayhi salatu of course Allah knows what, who's Musa, he knows what Musa's carrying, he knows the purpose of Musa's staff. Allah knows all of that. Allah asks Musa, right? So that style in itself of Allah asking a question, a question we would call rhetorical or hypothetical, something that we already did not ask about either. Alright, and then Allah says, tilka, tilka with the feminine gender versus a person saying ma hadha, ma hadhi, ma tilka, etc. Alright, so th this is from what we call with the scholars of Islam, they've explained to us, min asrar al-balagha, min asrar al-balagha, the secret eloquences of the Qur'an, mm. the eloquence of the Qur'an, in which some Muslims get, in which some people who speak Arabic get, in which even people who speak Arabic fluently don't get. Mm. Only ulama. Yeah. And then the levels of ulama, specialists in tafsir, those scholars who may sit for weeks, months, years, pondering over one word, over mm. one eye, and Allah gives it to them. Okay. So therefore, there are different levels of interpretation of the Quran. And one of the levels of interpretation is the interpretation that every person who speaks Arabic knows. And then there's another level of interpretation which only the learned Arab-speaking people know. Mm. So if you have no Arabic, no talab, no in, what did he, you, you're not even at level one. You're going to be like level zero. You understand? So no doubt Arabic is supposed to make you a better Muslim. It's supposed to help your religion. It's supposed to support your religion. And this verse here, among hundreds of others, have these different and these different lapayf that can only be understood and appreciated and grasped properly with, through, and via the Arabic language. Allah Akbar. Okay, what's that? Allah Khair. See you guys in the next one.